All right, so uh, raise your hand if you guys know anyone who has a medical marijuana card. If you know anyone, right, a lot of you guys. All right. Uh, well, I'm here to talk about how legalizing marijuana is causing physical and mental harm to the future generation of our society. Um, I'll first go over the effects of marijuana consumption and how the effects are physically and mentally harming to people. And then I will go over how marijuana, how marijuana physically and mentally harming people will affect the future generation. Um, so first of all, marijuana has a huge effect on the, on the human brain and body. Um, the website um, webmd.com claims the effects of marijuana include slow reaction time, short term memory loss, lack of motivation, impaired vision, and distorted sense of time. These things wouldn't just enroll in causing harm to the, to the people. So, um, you know, second, secondly, the, the effects of marijuana use draw out of physical harm to people. Um, and not just the people who consume the marijuana, but the people around them too. For example, um, if a legalized marijuana consumer might decide to drive a vehicle um, under the influence of marijuana, that person is now putting the people on the road around him or her in great danger because that person is in, has impaired vision and a slow reaction time. These are, these are things that shouldn't be, um, shouldn't be enc encountered while driving. It uh, will raise the, the chances of a, a car accident. Um, now one might say that alcohol does, you know, that alcohol does the same thing, has similar effects, but it's still legal. But the difference between alcohol and marijuana is the ability to be detected under the influence. Um, in a field sobriety test, a police officer might use a breathalyzer to detect if one is intoxicated and driving over the limit. But a police officer has no sort of device or assistance to prove if someone is under, under the influence of marijuana. Um, because the only way to detect if someone is using um, marijuana is, is to see if they've been using it in the last 30 days. And under um, the website, uh, CaliforniaNormal.org, um, they note, it says, um, quote, note that the urine, urinal tests do not detect the psychoactive component of marijuana, which is THC, and therefore there is no way to measure impairment. Um, therefore, the chances of marijuana users getting high and, and driving will rest. Um, as, well as, as well as marijuana damages, uh, um, does damage people physically, it also harms people mentally. Um, Researchers at Harvard Medical School concluded that marijuana truly harms the marijuana consumers. They claim, quote, chronic, chronic users of the drug often find themselves lacking motivation. Some even depressed or have other signs of mental illness. This is important because they will rely on marijuana to not feel depressed or, or feel, you know, anxiety. Um, lastly, I want to cover how the physical and mental harm of marijuana cause, um, causes the harm to the future generation. Um, in our society, the uh, education, education system and the, and the working environment are very important to our way of life. It's, it's, what, it's what makes us a country and, and, and enables us to live today. If the people, hands on, have, the, if the people have their hands on um, marijuana as easy as it is today, it will deeply affect the future work and education world based on the dangers of its effects. One who is depressed at work will have a hard time focusing and completing what is needed to be done. A study is done at Harvard Medical School to see what happens to weekly and daily pot smokers, and at, and the results claim to be that um, the researchers found that the young woman that, that young women who had used marijuana weekly as teenagers um, were twice as likely to have depression as as a young adult, um, and women who used it um, daily had, were four times as likely um, to have depression as as a young adult. Um, so, you know, the last thing we want is a bunch of um, risky drivers and depressed people and working and st depressed students and you know, working you know, in our society. It, it will bring us down. And so, um, in conclusion, the medical marijuana users are putting the future generation um, society in a danger based off of the physical and mental effects of marijuana consumption. I should have just said 
Well, you've got an audience survey to get our attention, but I don't ultimately end up seeing how the medical issue is related to the harms that you're talking about. I do think that you have a reasonable statement of what the proposition is, but it's phrased as an informative question instead of a declarative statement. So you need to uh, be a little bit clearer. Now, you do come back to it during the speech, and especially at the end, you do make it much more declarative in nature, but I think it needs to be that way at the beginning. Uh, the secondary issues are set up in a very basic structure. You just talk about physical and mental impacts and then the long-term impact. So that's okay. Uh, it's not too hard to follow. And internally, your signposting on those points is, is okay. Um, the evidence is... Uh, generic at the beginning. We've got a lot of list of uh, potential problems and uh, most of it cited as factual data, so I don't think anybody disputes that marijuana has some of these effects on people's uh, ability to function. As a matter of fact, that seems to be describing what most people smoke it for. You know, all the things that you talked about, uh, the distorting uh, their perception or, you know, altering, you know, slowing down, that kind of thing, changing the brain thing. Uh, the question is, are those impacts long term? And I thought you had some pretty good evidence on the issue of depression that you presented. Um, the information on the risk to others because of driving, I think, is very speculative in nature. I think you could have, I think there's much better information to support this point. The one thing on it that you had that I thought was unique that made the argument maybe a little bit more useful is the notion that marijuana is difficult to detect and therefore it would be hard to enforce people uh, from violating uh, driving rules if marijuana were legal. And I think that that suggests a potential problem. But what you need to do is also demonstrate that it has a big impact on drivers. And I don't think it's too hard to find some info that suggests that, you know, about hospital admissions or uh, police um, giving estimates about people driving under the influence of marijuana. There's got to be some data on that that you could find. On the, like I said, on the depression issue, I thought you had uh, better information on that. Uh, you really don't have much audience contact, and I think that you need to have a strong stronger connection between the supporting points so it's building to your conclusion and that would make it a little bit more effective. All right, thank you.